Hello Strutters, let me tell you about mtgotickets.com. They are the sponsor of this season of the Popper Gauntlet. That was super great. They are giving 100 tickets to the one of you who can guess which deck wins the Popper Gauntlet. And this competition is still ongoing because the Popper Gauntlet isn't over yet. It's round six. I'm Dan and I'm playing the green one. Sulkodan is my opponent. Hi to Sulkodan. I have to stop putting little pictures on YouTube, which was what I was doing while I was winning. I want to play first. Because I am the green one. I don't care what is in the graveyard. I will keep this. And I will go crazy with my Nettle Sentinel. But what are you playing? We shall see. I think Nettle Sentinel is of course the thing to start with. When you don't know what you're up against. Putting the hunger on the ledge walker will be a nice thing to do. Something blue. Affinity. So now I will just play Rancor and play Wall Scourge, I think. And just try to get in as much damage as possible. Yeah, and I think it is Wall Scourge here. Even Rancor on the Wall Scourge. But I think I want to get the damage in here. When I can. I just hope that he plays a Prophetic Prism the second turn. Of course, getting Hunger on Wall Scourge is nice, but not as good uh, against the deck with Galvanic Blasts. So it probably goes on the Ledge Walker. A stupid 4-4 is what I'm counting on. And then I will put Hunger on the Wall Scourge. That's even worse, is it? I'm still gonna be able to... He might have a Galvanic Blast waiting for the Wall Scourge here. If he doesn't block. Oh, he's just drawing a ton of cards. Allowing me to do a lot of damage. Oh god, that's a shame. And the wall scourge plan is so easily spoiled. So I think what I have to do here is to play ledge walker and hunger. So I will go ledge walker to on tap. Then swing with the guys. And I absolutely count on getting hunger on the ledge walker now. So we'll get him to 13. Yes. Rancor comes down. Hunger of the Howl pack. Sweet! Affinity has to be a pretty hard matchup for the deck. As it is a pretty hard matchup for Stompy. Because soon the, uh, the board will be flooded by 4 force, but he has no way of interacting with the ledge walker. So he has to race me now, and racing this deck is incredibly difficult. Although he will make a huge effort. Uh, double Rancor. I don't need double Rancor. I'll put the second Rancor on the Wall Scourge. Because it is also getting through. And then I have Lethal next turn.
and I will be at 22. And he will be at 4. So he's dead now, so I should be blocking. And as he probably plays Teamer Battle Rage instead of Fling, he cannot kill me out of nowhere. Oh, Flyer! How intriguing, but it's not big enough to block. So he has to have a Galvanic Blast as well. I think I can afford to take 8. Can I really take 14 next turn? I can easily take 14 with the Battle Rage. But he can cast a Battle Rage now anyway. So I'm just going to take this. It's Octavi Drake! Woohoo! At its very best. And that's the game if he was holding a Galvanic Blast. Hasty Flyer! Quite a surprise. Yes, please. And they all attack. Woohoo! This is the point where I wish I had a cyborg plan because I am not entirely sure what I should be taking out against Affinity. I have moments pieces, I have spore frogs. I assume Moment's Peace is pretty good. Flare Husk doesn't get us anywhere. Bone Splitter does. One power guys on the ground are not very efficient, so the Bogles leave us. So what about the Spore Frogs? I still think Queer Ranger can do weird things. Maybe play like this. The question then is, is Spore Frog more efficient? But it's just the 1-1. One, one. He can't do anything to 4-4s. Four so I'm going to play like this. Let's see if the green one can get past Affinity. Have we played? Green one was a top 10 deck last year. It has won against Orsov, Simic Explore, a Quitter and Stompy. So no, Stompy was hard of course. Okay, put everything on the ledge walker. That's the team. So I'm going to keep that. And I am going to put everything on the ledge walker and hope it's fast enough. But this hand would really, really improve with the Nettle Sentinel. And we don't get it. And actually, we are in trouble if there is a flyer. We'd really like to draw another land. Enter the Frogmites! The Frogmites of love. Yes. And perhaps another one. It's a thought cast, and then another Frogmite. Yes. So four power on the board turn two. That's what I was supposed to do. But I need to build the ledge walker from hell. And it's not going fast. So next turn we play Queer Ranger. But this is a very slow start. 
So play Queen Ranger, equip the Bone Splitter, play rank, or start doing five damage a turn. But is that enough? It's definitely not enough. But we can jump block with crap. I think I could easily be in trouble here. But my plan is to play Queen Ranger, equip Bone Split, equip Rank, or go to town. But if he has a Mirror Enforcer now, I must start jump blocking very soon. He can do a, an enormous amount of damage. Okay, so Queer Ranger. Untap that guy. Return the forest. Replay the forest. So I hit for five. That's not fast enough, I'm gonna take eight. So I think I need to block with the Queer Ranger and put hunger on the ledge walker. But is that enough? Three and then I got six. I can put rank on and go to eight and just put these guys in the way. I think that's what I have to do. So Queer Ranger is champ blocking and then we're going Hunger. It's a Galvanic Blast against me. That's scary as hell. Because now we can battle rage and ball. That seems far fetched. But you can do 12, you can do 11 damage with battle rage. And there is no way I can do 17 damage. So battle rage will just run me over here. I do block, which means I live through Battle Rage at least. But there is no Battle Rage. There is a Tog. Yeah, this start was way too slow. So now I need to jump block two guys. But I feel that I still have to win. And I can actually win next turn. I play rank or do eight. Then I have to do nine next turn and that's easy. So I can play queer ranger. I, I will try to do that. That is the plan. So queer ranger. Untap the guy, return the land. Play the land, play Rancor. Swing, play the Drake as a blocker. I 
and I have the kill next turn. God, I'm nervous. So just a Gavanic Blast is death here, but I, I still left myself a road to victory. And well, I, I can untap. It works. No. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, okay, I think that was a pretty good draw on his part. Queen Ranger felt extremely useful. I don't want to cut any more creatures for Spore Frog. We're going to play this deck as it is. And now the green one might fall. Yes. And I have to mulligan it. And I have almost nothing. And now I'm regretting moments, please. Maybe Spore Frog was so much better. I'm definitely putting this on the bottom because I need aggro. Here comes Queer Ranger. But having a 4 4 Queer Ranger, it's not anything special. God, why did I put Moments Piece in the deck? To wait with the Drake. Yeah, making the Queer Ranger 4 4, that just has to be wrong. <sighs> Sigh. Carapace Forger as a 2 2. So I think I'll happily trade with that. But I can't get any synergy out of it. I'm really going nowhere. And of course he will be 4-4 now. I did miss the land drop right, so I can actually moments piece that and I will. Getting rid of four damage must be good. He has a pretty clunky start here. I only have hunger. Given that I have two moments pieces, should I moment piece two damage? I will be quite busy in upcoming turns and this is so strange. Should I moments piece it or not? No, I'm going to take two. That feels incredibly ridiculous to moments piece that. And a frog might, and that's a trade he might take. But now I have the Octavi Drake. So now I will swing with both, hoping that he kills the Queeron Ranger. And then I can hunger the Drake. Which still leaves it vulnerable to Galvanic Blast. Oh, 
Okay then. So now I will definitely moment's peace. Why didn't he play his frogmite before he attacked? I have him at 11. Okay, do I want to untap and die here? I think I do because... No, then I can't uh, pay the cost. So I can't do that. I asked moments, please. And now I have to pay. Pay up! Yes. Double hunger. That could get interesting. I could have done the... Oh yeah, I could have done it here. I will untap it, return. And so the question is if I can afford to take 10. But what I'm going to do here is to block with the Queer Ranger, hunger the Drake, but then the risk of Galvanic Blast is enormous. He doesn't have two red. Wow, it is so risky. I think I'm taking 10. But that might be crazy. I go down, no, I, I go down way too much. Uh, so I do block. I do try to growth it. And then if he bolts it, I have nothing left. I'm all in on the Drake. And I think it's working. Bone splitter, no. Uh, okay, just the rancor. I can get one more damage in, but that's it. No, but this hunger can save me from Galvanic Blast. So maybe as the spell or something, maybe I just hunger here and do eight damage. So he has to double Galvanic Blast me. One green. What? Okay. That didn't matter. At all. Natural state. Okay, he was gonna try to target my bones player or wall scourges. Another Atog, you are welcome to play one. Okay, moment's piece was pretty good. What if you ask negate? I 
Not gonna block. Yeah, I'm gonna moments piece here. I'm not gonna get involved into anything in case it has like land galvanic blast. I'm not gonna risk taking any damage. I could be mind tricked into taking damage here, I think. Of course, he would just kill my Drake if he had it. But green one wins! <laughs> Green one beats the the thing it feared the most, I think. And green one is in round seven of the Pauper Gauntlet. Thank you for watching.